All right, welcome back to Rednecks Dirty Hands. I'm Pete, and this is part three of the uh, Go Fast Golf Cart. Today, we're going to take the uh, cherry picker, grab uh, the motor, see if we can get it mounted in here, make something of this thing. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, here, now we're talking. There is the motor <laughs> kind of sitting in there. Now, it uh, worked out kind of good. I mean, uh, these original mount sections here on the bike, um, they would have mounted up in the frame on there. They were just uh, through holes. You know, a big long bolt would have went through there. But the size of these was actually just perfect. For running a uh, regular uh, half inch uh, 13 pitch tap into so I tapped all four of those and I just got some half inch threaded rod threaded in there using it as a stop to uh, rest on top of the frame that I made so that'll uh, that lets me set this in here so I'm gonna cut I got this piece of uh, tubing cut I'll just make some ears that uh, drill some holes That'll go from here, I can weld them to this tube. I'll get that uh, squared up and true. And then that'll be a mount for there. And then I can come off of probably this top bar, come down there to lock those ones in. And I could tie them into the, maybe even come right to the back, stiffen that up. And then the fronts, we've got these original uh, mount uh, locations here. So I think what I could do is just come use another piece of this tube here come straight up as a standoff or I could use that round tube I have as well and then I could just go straight up with that put a plate on it bolt it in with that bolt and uh, do the same over here the width wise for the frames like somebody knew what they were doing here when they were building this because it's kind of working out not too bad so I'll do the same thing do a standoff from there come up with a plate on it bolt that sucker right there that motor will be locked in the only other thing is i do have there's a big air big air breather kind of like that guy that's supposed to go on here that's why i cut this section of tube out in the beginning so i'll have to grab that and see how high that's going i may want to try and drop the motor down a little bit further but i'm thinking that's pretty good the way it is because we are under slinging the motor below the frame there. You can see the exhaust and all that's hanging down below, but that's all right, because that's never really gonna get any lower than that, because as the suspension travels, it's just the body is gonna go down. That swing arm and the axle and all, that's always gonna stay that distance off the ground, so we don't really have to worry about ground clearance that way, so. Yeah, I'll, uh, Fill around with it, see if I can get it squared in there. And then we're, <laughs> we're getting there. Then I'll just have to uh, rig up the axle for the uh, extra blocks and then start fitting the uh, sprockets and the rotor and all that stuff on there. So nice one, I like it. so far so good I got the uh, the bottom uh, mount uh, tacked in there set up the motors uh, 
looking pretty true in here I uh, just used another piece of the inch and a half tubing popped a hole in it put an end cap on it so when you tighten this down it doesn't crush the uh, tube there and then the other side I just took a piece of round tubing from JP's uh, cross cart build there and just I took a piece of the inch and a half square tubing cut it to make the angle bracket bolted it in there and welded that up so we have just a tiny bit of clearance there between the header and the frame uh, it's got a bit of ground clearance not a lot probably about four inches five inches maybe you know but that's okay that's not going to change with the suspension or nothing so that's pretty good that motor is sitting in there now i'm not 100 sure about the air box how high it's going to stick out but nothing so far is sticking up above where the seat would have been so we're doing okay there i can uh, use this as the height of the seat and come to out and down so that'll be all right so we'll wait and see and uh, carry on all right well i think this is going to be the end of this video i did accomplish the goal of getting the uh the 1000 cc street bike motor in there it uh, looks not too bad jp had to rush home just to check it out eh <laughs> <laughs> what do you think no oh it's gonna be fast well we hope so <laughs> <laughs> how fast jp oh i think it's 120 is easy on this oh yeah oh come on like 200 pounds more well, we're talking sleds here, so maybe 400 pounds more than a bike. Yeah. And what's an R1 do? What's a 2013 R1 do for top speed? I don't know. <laughs> 300k. We're not. We don't want to go that fast, but uh, I don't know. I think uh, we stand a good chance of going pretty fast. Oh, it's going to go fast. The question is, what it will it do in a quarter, right? Because we're yeah. really talking about the balance of a quarter. So. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe look up some times on an R1 for the quarter and see how much you're going to shut off of that. Yeah. Well, we know the world record for that electric golf cart is 118 mile an hour and a quarter. So if we do get this set up and ripping up and down the closed course here in front of the house, maybe we'll find out. Maybe we can do better. Maybe we can't. Noel thinks we can. Oh, we got it. <laughs> All right. So... Thanks for tuning into this episode. We're going to shut her down here. If you enjoy it, you know, subscribe, help us out. It, uh, we enjoy doing it. And hit the like button and leave a comment. And let us know what you think of it.